हेलो हाउ आर यू आई एम अंडर द वॉटर प्लीज हेल्प मी यूर टू मच रेनिंग Hey Glowies, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am obviously, as you can hear, doing a voice video for the first time on my channel. Today I am actually going to be raiding some of my subscribers' houses. So for this first house, it was really pretty and detailed and very big also, but the one thing I did not like about it was that there was so much stone texture everywhere. On the inside, there was also a lot of stone walls, but the decals were really pretty and I really liked the color scheme, especially since she put plants everywhere and I love plants, so she had quite a lot of those and quite a lot of string lights that I also enjoy in every single house that I build. I loved the pool and I loved the little grill area. Overall, I gave this house an 8 out of 10 just because I feel like the stone walls everywhere kind of took away from the real color scheme of the house. From the first look of the exterior, it looks pretty nice. It's kind of small, but small is also good sometimes. And I do like the little use of space with these vehicles right out here. I wonder what the garage is for then. Well, there's more vehicles in there. I really liked that she had so many like trees and landscaping on the way inside the home and that the front door was on the top floor instead of the bottom one which is a style that I don't see a lot of people use. This house had a really nice color scheme as well. And I really like this house. I gave it a solid 10 out of 10 because I love the structure of it and I love the color scheme. The next one was a really interesting house and it had lots of mountain landscaping. I loved that part of it because as you all know, if you've been on my channel for a while and I've been in the Glow Gang for like a year now, you would know that I love hillside houses. They're all that I build and landscaping is like my weakness. I will not build a house, I will only build mountains. This Glowy had built a modern house on top of a mountain side and I also liked that there was privacy from the mountains like right in front of it so you couldn't really see inside the house that had a lot of windows so if there are any like stalkers on the street they could definitely see what you were doing with all those windows on this modern home.
I gave this house a solid 9 out of 10. I feel like it could have had more decor even though it was like modern and minimalistic. But I loved the creativity and I loved the modernness of it since I don't see many of those anymore ever since aesthetic houses took over Bloxburg. This was a really cute, small, tiny home. I mean, those are the same word, but... Overall, I gave this house a 10 out of 10 just because she did design it so well for such a small home. Then I hopped onto my motorcycle, drove across the street, and into a pond. Hello, how are you? It was, it was an experience and my motorcycle was like stuck there, but thankfully I was on the last house of the neighborhood so far. And this was a really pretty house, like as soon as I looked at it I knew that this was my style. 